Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. This is very popular in the makeup beauty community, but I thought let's just bring it into the skincare community and incorporate some skincare. So we're gonna be doing some skincare and some very light, like everyday makeup. Right before we get into the video, just make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And also, as I always state, I'm not an esthetician or a dermatologist or any sort of professional. My channel is solely here to educate you guys based on the research I have done. Now that that's all out of the way, let's get into the video. So I've actually already cleansed my face with a Curology cleanser. I've been using Curology for around two and a half weeks now, but Curology literally has been helping me so much and I want to do a brand review, so keep your eyes out for that. I'm actually going to re-wet my face because I like to do skincare on a damp face just to lock in as much hydration as I can. And I keep all my products in this cute little skincare fridge. Let me show you guys without dropping it. So I keep everything in here. Skincare fridges technically do absolutely nothing for your skin, but I really just like the way a cold product feels, and it's just really amazing. So today, the first thing I'm gonna be going in is my Maturium Hyaluronic Acid es Essence 2%. This is a product I'm not using every day, and Naturium is another brand I'm gonna do a review on soon. I have so many reviews coming for you guys, but hyaluronic acid just pulls in moisture from the air, so this is really amazing. But I don't wanna talk about just products. I really wanna to talk to you guys, so I'll always put the products on the screen, but I just wanted to tell you guys, this is not something I use every day. My skin morning routine definitely changes. Sometimes it's literally just cleansing, moisturizing sunscreen. Sometimes I do more. Just depends on what I think my skin needs and can handle. School starts in literally a month, which is so nerve wracking. And I am absolutely terrified. I have three books to read. I've fully read one of them. And then I have two more to read. But some people say they don't read all their books, but I'm just gonna read them because I'm scared. <laughs> what if they ask a question and I don't know? So that's really my goal right now is just to focus on like being a good student because I'm going to high school. If you didn't know, I'm gonna be a freshie. So things matter now for college. And I really wanna just be able to balance like YouTube and school because YouTube is my like biggest passion. When I do YouTube, I literally get so happy. Like if I'm editing a video for like 15 hours, I'm like, yes, this is what I need. But I definitely will not have as much time for YouTube when school starts because I'll be like doing like school and then I'll have like hobbies and then free time plus YouTube. So it's just gonna be a lot, but I think I'll be able to handle it pretty well, which is very exciting. Another Curology product. This is actually their Rich Moisturizer. I've been using their light one, but this one was a little too light. So today is actually the first time I'm trying out the Rich one and I'll maybe use this at night and the other one in the morning. But today I am very dry, so I'm going in with this. So our school this year, actually, fun fact, they let us bring our own computer to school. So like our computer we use at home. If we had to use a school computer, I would have to bring two computers so I could edit because we get like study halls and lunches and things. And I was never, like I'm very social, but I was never the type to like enjoy like sitting down at lunch with people. I don't know why, to me that's just, a little too chaotic. This entire year, I would literally just sit with like one friend like outside of the cafeteria. I really like lunch to just like chill from the day because I feel like school's very chaotic sometimes. So having that time just to myself is really good. So I'm planning on editing during lunch, which is really amazing because that'll be really fun because I'll get to chill because like I said, doing YouTube is one of my like favorite things. So I'm so excited for that. And also you guys, this channel is literally for you. So comment down below if you like this type of video where I'm incorporating makeup because I've actually been doing makeup for like one and a half, two years. If you guys would like that, we can definitely transition the channel. I think I'm mentally prepared for that. Um, definitely was a journey to get here, but you know, we're here and we're thriving, so that's exciting. But I really do enjoy doing like really artistic makeup and even today, just like a really basic makeup look is really fun. Actually, this is a new thing I've been using is the Glossy Future Dew. This does have some fragrance, so it's not the best, but I don't use this every day. I use it kind of as like a makeup primer. You just put two pumps into your skin and it's literally like, there's some rosehip oil, there's a bunch of oils, but like I said, there is a lot of like botanical extracts and a lot of fragrance. But this does not personally irritate my skin. It just makes it look so dewy and under makeup, I need to look glowy or else you look disgusting. And a lot of my products are actually Glossier because I really enjoy their formula. And then on top of that, I'm using another dewy product. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. If y'all haven't tried this, this is so good because it just adds like a little tint to your skin. But as you can see, it just makes my skin look so good. Another thing we need to talk about is cancel culture. I feel like every single day someone else is canceled. And this is my personal opinion. You can definitely differ from this. And I'm not at all saying I agree with the actions of the people who are getting canceled, but I just think cancel culture itself is a little extreme. While I talk about this, I'm gonna be going in with my Glossier concealer, but cancel culture has gotten so toxic 
to the point that it's not even about re-educating people. I feel like if somebody makes a mistake, you have to call them out for it. And of course they have to acknowledge that they made a mistake and have to apologize for it and try to actively improve. A lot of YouTubers just make one apology video and then they just make another mistake and then they make another apology video. And I think that's just not good. I feel the way cancel culture has become, it's about a momentarily drama that is more entertainment than education to the audience, you know? I feel like on Twitter especially, it's so toxic. If somebody does literally anything that somebody can portray as offensive to a certain group of people, instead of trying to directly ask the person if that was their intention, if you have like a racist scandal, in scandal where you're clearly being like derogatory towards a group of people, of course you deserve to be called out for it and you have to like fix yourself and that can be extremely offensive and can cause pain to people. So that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is like Emma Chamberlain posted a video, like, like a picture going like this and people said she was being racist and to me that got shut down real quick because people realized um, she just was not. And that's what I'm talking about. I feel like cancel culture isn't about like calling people out anymore. It's not like, oh, you messed up, make an apology for it. It's like, oh, you messed up. Let's talk about it for days so I have something to do with my day. And that just really sucks because I feel like calling somebody out and then learning from their lessons and especially nowadays, we're definitely aiming towards a more diverse future, whether it comes to sexuality, race, gender, like social class, literally anything. So I think the manner and the way that canceling people is being handled just isn't useful in any way. And for an example, like James, last year in May, he literally got attacked by the entire world, lost millions of millions of millions of followers. And I, the whole time I was like, something's not right. He was being alleged of assaulting straight men and trying to like change people's sexuality which sexuality is a very like individual topic and it's not like just three labels it's like an entire spectrum that there's so many different like choices I guess and I just the entire time was something off and clearly something was off James was apparently innocent and now Tati is blaming Jeffrey and Shane and I have no comment on this I totally disagree with Shane and Jeffrey's actions that is something I can clearly say because the things they did in their past and present is absolutely disgusting to try to ruin a 19 year old's career based on lies is absolutely absurd. So James is an icon, he's thriving. I literally love him, have always loved him. I've been following him from like the very start. I've been following him for so many years and he's so talented and I'm glad he's doing well now, but it's so sad that he was put in that place because of cancel culture. That video could have literally ruined his life and she talked about this in her video where she was um, concerned that James was gonna hurt himself and he's even talked about this. And I think that that's literally absurd that that was even like a possibility, not for James. I'm not saying it's absurd that he went to that because I definitely get it. If the entire world is attacking you, you definitely go to a dark place. But I think it's absurd that Tati made that video even if she was being influenced and whether she's sorry now, which apparently she is, that's still insane. And they're the biggest creators. Like Jeffrey has like, millions like 17 16 something Shane has 23 million and I it's sad that they're making the beauty community come off as such a toxic community they're all calling it the worst community the beauty community sucks everybody in the beauty community is toxic and fake and there's so many amazing small influencers in that community that are literally so good at their job so talented and just unproblematic so it sucks that the biggest players are setting I don't know what I like setting a precedent for everybody and being like yeah this is how you're supposed to do it. you have to get in drama or you won't grow and it just really really sucks so James sweetie I know you're not watching this but if you ever do watch this I love you and I'm so sorry you had to go through that you did not deserve it and Jeffrey actually just uploaded um, a video called doing the right thing and to me it was a little a little peculiar I don't want to like get into drama and say like what's right and what's wrong but just from the way the video came off he did apologize to James which is amazing because he deserves it but I just feel like it was a little it wasn't as complex as it should have been but I just think at the end he um, promoted his brand so I don't really think that was the appropriate thing to do in that situation. But again, he's an individual and he is clearly getting attacked by the entire world. So I have no comment on that. I just disagree with their actions and think canceling someone is not as useful as calling them out for something and educating them on the topic because being like you're canceled, hashtag blank is over party is useless and it makes you come off as a bad person and it can really emotionally and mentally hurt the person. So that's just, we need a cancel cancel culture and that's on period.
I feel like I really just went off on that, but that's just such like, I don't know, because my dream, as you guys know, is to enter the community as an influencer, but my channel was very much focused on like positivity, empowerment, skin confidence. Like in my videos, like my first video that I posted without any makeup was that skincare routine. And even when I was editing, I really thought about not posting the video. I was so scared that people were gonna judge me or that people were gonna be like, oh my God, your skin's gross. You know nothing about skincare because your skin sucks. And that's really like sad. That's a sad place. But acne really does affect a lot of people in different ways and it can really impact your confidence. Trust me, I would know, sweetie. I've literally had it for like um, probably over a year and a half. And then like the last year or so, it's been really, really progressively worse. So that's not great, but you know, we're here, we're getting better. I'm getting better about being happy. And that leads to my next topic, which is the video the Dolan twins posted on their channel. The video they posted really was unexpected for me. I, when I saw it on my page, I thought it was gonna be in regards to the drama. I think Ethan has really positively like influenced his audience about skin confidence. I feel like many straight men are insecure to talk about their skin confidence. They don't wanna come off as vulnerable. They don't wanna come off as feminine, which literally sucks. Can we just clarify? That's so stupid. And he posted, first of all, on Twitter, he posted this entire thing about how people have been like making fun of him. This was a while back when he had really bad acne before he went on Accutane. And when I first saw that, I literally was in tears because first of all, I related to it and I could tell he was genuinely hurt. And literally that like, it was like Ethan Dolan ugly was trending on Twitter. And that's just sucky, you know? Ethan posted the video where it was like a full documentary from him like going over his experience with acne from the start, how he was feeling. And it was just really empowering. So like me, obviously I've had acne for, oh my God, too long now. And it's probably gonna continue being here for a while. And it's really sucked and really impacted me in a negative way. And I'm getting better at learning to just like not care, you know, because trust me, you're the person that notices it most. I've learned that from like people telling me over and over and I'm like, no, they're just lying, they're just being nice. But it definitely is. But it was just amazing to hear a straight man go on his platforms, a million of people, and be like, I have acne, I'm insecure about it, and I've covered up with makeup, and that doesn't make me any less of a man. And he actually said it makes him more of a man, which I totally agree. Boys that are, like, insecure to put on makeup, boys that are insecure to, like, oh my god, boys that are insecure to talk to, like, um, like, me. They're like, oh no, I don't want to, like, become gay, you know? So, like, girl, you're too insecure, and that's not my issue, that's something you gotta work on. So I just thought that was really amazing and wanted to bring it up. If you haven't seen the documentary, I will link it down below. I thought it was really empowering and really amazing, as I said, amazing 40 times, but I really do think it was a great thing for him to do. I don't do this every day. I don't know why I said this is gonna be an everyday look. Usually my everyday look is curl my lashes and put on a tinted sunscreen. <laughs> so here we are. Next up, I wanna talk about me. Let's just bring it back um, to me. This is a SPF powder. You cannot use this alone, but I do like to set my makeup with it just to make sure I'm getting extra coverage. But let's talk about this channel. If you guys don't know, I've been making videos since I was like five or six years old. I think there's videos of me five and like six in Brazil. If you guys don't know, I'm from Brazil and I would never post these videos, but I would get a GoPro and like run around and vlog and I'd be like, okay, I'm doing this, 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 here's my lunch. And I probably looked insane as a child doing that. But I remember having so much fun. It was my favorite thing to do. It made me so happy. And after that, I think when I turned like 10, 12, 11, something like that, I think I was 10, my parents started to let me post on YouTube. And I used to make really weird videos. Logan Paul, I used to be um, low gang. Embarrassing part of my life. I'm glad he's learning as a person, but that's just not for me anymore. So I used to literally make videos of me like throwing things in my room thinking I was Logan Paul. And I'm very embarrassed about that. So those were not the best videos, but I had fun and that's what matters. And then I used to make videos when we like travel. I've always been into like cinematography, videography, and like montages and editing. I don't know, like film editing where it looks very like film-like, very professional. I've always really enjoyed that. So now here we are. And this is gonna be my, I think, 11th or 12th video on my YouTube channel. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but you guys don't know. Each one of my videos takes me like 10 to 15 hours, if I'm being fully honest. So it definitely takes a lot more time than people are aware of. Favorite part, curling my lashes. Because I have long lashes, they literally don't curl. So videos take so long and people just are not aware of that. So <laughs> people don't appreciate it, but I've had so much fun. Like, I just love it. My dream is to like, I don't know, work with the brand. My actual dream is to have my own skincare line. So if you guys be ready for my skincare line, I'm telling you, oh girl, your skin's never gonna look as good. But obviously I'm a child, so that's just not possible right now. But once it is, be ready. My lashes do this really fun thing in this eye where they fall out. <laughs> 
and then it looks disgusting, so I have to like brush them into place like there. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm literally having so much fun on this YouTube, and I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody. Yes, my platform is very, very small. I'm about to reach like 300 subscribers or something, but I was imagining like my videos, I get like 100 views, 100 people in a room looking at a TV with my face on it. That sounds terrifying. So obviously my dream is to grow, but literally I'm like thankful for every single person that watches my video and especially, oh my God, the people that comment, like there's people that comment like your skin looks good and to them, it's like just a couple words, but to me it literally like makes my entire day or people that notice small details in the video or they're like, this is, this taught me so much. You helped me like that literally means the world. So a quick thank you to everybody that watches my video. And even though it's an extremely small platform, I feel like it's just like, it's very exciting and I'm excited to grow with y'all and everybody that watches and comments it means the world just know that if you do natural makeup you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about it takes me way more time and makeup products to do a natural look than to do a full glam and people that don't wear makeup or guys that don't wear makeup or girls that don't wear makeup will not understand this but the people that do will but I'm literally so happy that over the summer I discovered this look this year sometimes at school I would literally like put on makeup and it would look good in my mirror then I'd get in the car and it looks horrendous and then I literally have to wipe it off on the way to school and it was terrifying because then I get to school looking like a hot mess so this year, my goal is to get to school looking like a hot mess without the mess. So just hot, period. So if you go to my school, please beware of that. Some days I will be looking up crusty and you're just gonna have to get over it. But this like routine, you guys, oh my God, if you have a similar skin type to me and you like looking extremely dewy, this is, did you hear that? Whoa. So now I'm gonna go into mascara and here's, this is like, let me actually zoom in. I put on mascara on the bottom, like legit, like almost every day. I feel like this just makes me look so much more like alive. If you have long lashes, if you don't, I'm sorry, but this just, oh, I definitely just got mascara down there. That's exciting. If you don't have long lashes, I'm sorry, sweetie, but this will not work. Put mascara on the top. So you put it just on the top of it because if you put it on the bottom, you'll actually lose a curl. Cause the mascaras are either oil or water like based and both of those, components will ruin your curl. So just put it on the top. And actually if you have to recurl your lashes, you can recurl them because when you put on mascara, you can't recurl your lashes. But like this, there's literally no mascara on the bottom. So if you have dark lashes, not just long lashes, but dark lashes, this will look so good. And then I actually wipe the concealer from right here, like right where it's creasing. I just get rid of it because it's just gonna cause issues. No matter how much powder you put on it, it's just gonna cause issues. You guys see how like good the look? And I look so much better, not to be a catfish, but like, ooh, this is a different, Oh, that's literally a different person. Oh my God, so many people snap me and they're like, I did my makeup and I look so much different. And I'm like, girl, if you spent like an hour doing your makeup, do you really wanna look the same? And I hope you guys are having a good pandemic. I am, actually, I'm pretty much thriving. This made me realize I'm a lot more independent than I thought I was very, I thought I was very dependent on my friends. But I've realized that I'm very chill by myself and having my family is amazing. But just me is also just like, I thrive, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also give this video a like and share it with your friends so they can get some of the skincare knowledge. And as I said a hundred times, comment down below if you like this kind of video. And doing all those things really does help me. If you did not know, it's the best way to support your favorite YouTubers. And also make sure you are following me on all my social media. It's at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally everything. On Instagram, I literally post so much on my stories. So if you're not following me on there, you are definitely missing out. And as I say in every single video, I'm trying to make more skincare videos on TikTok. So make you are following me on there before it gets banned hopefully it doesn't get banned but if it does make sure you are following me and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>